Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I've been putting off making this video. I don't know if it's been like post-concert depression or what, but I haven't been really ready to talk about my show until now, a little over a month later, and now the North American tour is over, but I guess better late than never. Anyways, let's get into my experience. Okay, so originally we were planning on leaving around 6, but last minute we decided to leave at 5 a.m., which was actually 5.15, because if you say leave 5 a.m., I'm thinking leave my house at 5 a.m., not be at your house at 5 a.m. It's 4 a.m. Okay. Thank God we left an hour early because if we would have left an hour later, we probably wouldn't have gotten such a great parking spot. We also probably would have been like a hundred something in line because an hour after we had gotten there, there was about a hundred people in line and that would have been where we were. So I'm very grateful we decided to leave early. When we'd gotten there and like put our stuff down, we went and got our numbers from the person at the front of the line. As we were kind of getting comfortable, the staff made an announcement basically saying like, hey, we have sunscreen on this table. If you use the bathroom, talk to so-and-so at this tent. He's gonna let you into the venue to use the potty. Please be drinking water, keep yourself hydrated, feed yourselves. This is the address to use to get DoorDash. Like, please take care of yourselves. Let us know if we can do anything. This is the best staff ever. Also, at this time, I decided, hey, it's a good time to DIY my shirt for the show. <laughs> We waited in line, we made some cool friends. The people in line were so great and so sweet. At one point, this one person walked around with pizza and was handing it out to people. A couple other people came with like a cooler of Capri Suns and Lunchables. And at one point, VIP Nation gave us ponchos. I still have my poncho. It's been sitting on my dresser for like a month just for this video. God only knows how long we actually waited in line. I have no idea. I do know that we got ready in line. We did our makeup in line. We took our stuff back to the car, but then it was finally time to like start the official line because at this point it had only been like a fan-made line and where most of the fan-made line was they wanted it to be completely empty in a straight line we had to push the entire line back and at this point i have no idea how many people were in line so a lot of people having to like push back thank god we were pushed back because we got pushed back in this line and i'm just wearing my poncho so excited for the day i turn around and there's tour buses and I look at my friend Grace and I say, Grace, there's tour buses. And she's like, okay, do you think it's theirs? And I was like, I have no idea, but I'm gonna film it cause that's so cool. And as I'm filming it, I'm the only one around us filming. As I'm filming it, I notice a figure walking beside the tour bus, Ashton Irwin. Shut the fuck Shut the up. up. This was, this was just the first of many interactions with this man the entire day, but it's just the fact that I was the only one filming. And then afterwards, everyone like whipped out their phone. They're like, can you send that to me? Can you send that to me? And they're like taking videos of this tour bus being like, look, Ashton, ah! And I'm just sitting here like. <laughs> Once we got like up to the booth, I think we gave them our IDs and that was it. And then they handed us our tickets and our lanyards. And then, oh, oh, and they also gave us this like number. It was on a piece of paper, mine's in my wallet. I feel official. I'm gonna put it in my bag. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah. First no. Now we're in the official line. We have to wait forever because we have to wait for the entire sound check line to check in. And at this point, it was like 600 people. The only good thing about this line and having to move the entire line was the fact that we got to listen to Five Sauce sound check for real. That was the best sign I've ever seen. One of our tickets work. The other one doesn't. And then eventually, I think because the line was so long, they moved us into the venue and like kind of wrapped us around in a weird way. And during this time, we heard someone playing drums. Come to find out, it was Ashton playing Blender on drums over and over and over and over and over again for like 15 minutes. And then after a long, long time, we were able to go on a sound check. 
and I have no photos or videos because it wasn't allowed. And the person in charge said if we took any photos or videos or anything, took our phones out, cameras out, whatever, that we would be put in the back. I didn't want to be put in the back because I was 41 in line. And because I was 41 in line, I ended up being the very last seat of the second row. Second row. Directly in front of my man, Callum Hood. Directly in front. Once everybody got in, she called Five Sauce. She was like, hey guys, they're ready for you. Anyways, they ended up coming out. Had such a good time. Callum Hood did not make eye contact with anybody around me. If he did, I'd be surprised, honestly. He was kind of looking at the floor the whole time. However, at one point, Ashton was making very intense eye contact with me. And it, I looked, so like, I was looking at Callum, I think. And then I just like, pan. And I lock eyes with Ashton. And I'm just like, I'm going to keep staring. So I'm like staring at him and I kind of like... Afterwards, we like laughed at each other and then broke eye contact, but it was great. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember what they played. <laughs> I blocked out a lot of this show. Why? I don't know. I just did. But sound check was really fun. And if you ever get the chance to do a sound check, please do it. Especially for Five Sauce. It just, it didn't feel real. But also at the same time, it felt like that's what I was there for. Like, I was only there for sound check, and the show was just an added bonus. Once sound check was over and like the boys are off stage, the person in charge came back and directed all of us where to go for merch. We were all split up into different directions. I spent a lot of money on merch. I went with like a tiny game plan, which was spend money, get the trucker hat, and get the foam finger. I got the foam finger and the poster. Oh, that was also one of my things, was to get that poster because I knew it would look really good on my wall. But let me give you a haul. You get this really cute bag. First we have the bucket hat. I have never felt more stupid. A bucket hat? While they were selling a bucket hat, that is in fact not what I bought. I bought the trucker hat. Then we have the bracelets. We have three t-shirts. I ended up going with the black tour t-shirt this is the front this was the only t-shirt that had like the boys actually on it versus their silhouettes it's extremely soft i think it's my favorite one so the next shirt that i got is this cream like off-white one that is also a tour shirt with all the tour dates i ended up seeing online afterwards this other shirt that was the same color but different design and i kind of liked it more but i didn't see it and i feel dumb the last one that i got was this long sleeve because come on that is so cool and it says five seconds summer down the sleeve this has all the tour stops on the other sleeve on the back take my hand world tour it was just too good to pass up also while i was in line i spent money on merch too i ordered this shirt and then i also ordered one of the tour specific posters but that is still in a box because like I said, I haven't really been able to talk about my show recently. After we got our merch, we got some food, we sat down on the ground, we ate our food. This venue had so many condiments, so many. If that doesn't tell you that they're a good venue, then I don't know what does. After we ate, we went to the potty, we took some pictures, and then we went and found our seats. I'm broke. And then it was showtime, baby. Here's what you came for, man. Here's the show.
Chris. We're going to try to do it for us. <laughs> because we can't go that loud, I need everyone on the count of three to wake up all these residents who are going to be all right.
ended we got back to our car sweaty dying of thirst dying in general and we sat there for a good bit and then we finally left it took forever getting home we added about two more hours to our drive just because we were tired so we kept stopping to take naps like it was bad it has never been that bad if you can after a show in a town that you live far away from please get a hotel i couldn't do this because i was supposed to go to another show with a different person who was in my hometown so i had to go all the way back to pick them up and then the show ended up being canceled come on straight kids we made it home barely and now it's been a month i'm so proud of myself i did it i filmed the video a whole month late Ugh. okay bye